Good morning. I'm Pastor Debbie Griffin. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. It's my blessing and joy to be the pastor of Downtown Disciples. Downtown Disciples are a progressive faith community doing justice, loving kindness, and walking humbly together. We are LGBTQIA plus affirming. We proclaim Black Lives Matter, and we say that every time we gather because it matters. It matters to speak the justice-making love of our God that we have come to know together in the life, the death, the resurrection, the story, and the community of Christ. Good morning, Linda and Mary Ellen and all others who are out there that I can't see yet. Tamikia, good morning. So great to be with you on this All Saints Week. Uh, we have All Saints Day and All Saints Sunday, which we're uh, celebrating this weekend at Drive-In Church. And so our scriptures and poetry today uh, are based around the saints um, that surround us. And you might be familiar with the scripture that uh, we find from Paul that talks about the great cloud of witnesses, uh, all the saints that have died and gone before us that surround us. That scripture is the one that I usually read on All Saints Sunday. But um, it's made me think about the transfiguration scriptures in a different way, too. So um, the story of uh, Jesus and some of the disciples going up the mountain, and then there was the, the spirit, the living presence of some of the saints there with them. So that's the scripture we'll hear this morning. And I invite us first, before we do that, um, to chat with each other. If you haven't already, pass the peace with one another. Share any joys or concerns that you might have or people you're remembering in your life. Saints, people who embodied God's love to you but have died and are surrounding us as they live in resurrection life. So we think about those folks. You're welcome to chat the names of those folks in Facebook Live. Let's take a moment of silence to just feel their presence around us, along with, of course, the presence of the resurrected Christ. Amen. Our scripture this morning is from the Gospel of Mark in chapter 9, beginning at verse 2. Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah and Moses, who were talking with Jesus. And then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it's good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. And he didn't know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud, there came a voice. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. And suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, only Jesus. I find it so comforting that our scriptures give us these beautiful stories uh, to help us imagine that the resurrected spirit of Christ and all those saints that have gone before us, including those Sunday school teachers and preachers and grandmas and aunties uh, and parents, that their spirits live on the great saints surrounding us with their love and their wisdom. So I'm going to invite us 
uh, to hear now this poem by Lucille Clifton, who writes uh, about her mother. And this is called, We Do Not Know Very Much About Lucille, who is her mother, Lucille's Inner Life. From the light of her inner life, a company of citizens watches Lucille as she trembles through the world. She's a tired woman, though well-meaning, they say. When will she learn to listen to us? Lucille things are not what they seem. All, all is wonder and astonishment. Is that beautiful? It's so short. I'm going to read it one more time for you. From the light of her inner life, a company of citizens watches Lucille as she trembles through the world. She's a tired woman, though well-meaning, they say. When will she listen to us? Lucille, things are not what they seem. All, all is wonder and astonishment. Oh, that we might go through our day where all, all is wonder and astonishment. And these, these company of citizens, the great saints that, that go with her, saying, why won't she listen to us? I wonder who are the great saints in our day who are wandering around with us saying, why won't they listen to us? Might we listen to the resurrected spirit of Christ, the resurrected spirit of the saints who are all around us, within us and among us, not just in our memories, but in resurrection life. Will you pray with me? Holy mystery, resurrecting God, the one who brings new life from death, who brings new life when the world unravels before us, you are here in so many ways and in one particular way you are with us in the saints your divine spark and image in them lives on around us we long to be aware of their presence in our day today we open our hearts and minds to hear you and feel you and know you in their presence and in the presence of the resurrected christ Walk with us, whisper with us, poke us and prod us that we might be encouraged and inspired and convicted and challenged by your wisdom in the resurrection life that is with us. Invite us to not think of there and here, but that we are truly all one in this world, in this cosmos. As we wander about through our day, may the saints not say, why won't they listen to us? May they join us in a conversation of your wisdom and joy and comfort. We pray blessing on all those who are grieving all who are hungry and suffering of body or mind. All who are without shelter. All who are struggling with depression and anxiety. May your peace be known to them and to us. We pray in the love, in the resurrection of Christ. Amen. Dear ones, we have our gala tomorrow night, the prom, at uh, the Teach Out building in the East Village. If you have not received
got purchased your ticket yet, it's not too late to do that. Tickets are only $25. And um, if you need a scholarship for a ticket, please let us know because we want this event to be available to all people. It's a great event of love. Your ticket comes with two drink tickets, um, alcoholic or non-alcoholic and delicious hors d'oeuvres, and that's tomorrow night. We hope to also see you at Drive-In Church Sunday. You're invited to bring photos of the saints in your life, people who have died in our living resurrection life, and we'll put those photos up on the communion table on Sunday at Drive-In Church where we're having pastries for communion so we can taste and see that God is good. Friends, it's so good to start the day with you. Go in the peace the power, the love, the joy, and the wisdom of the one who loves you best. And may you truly be blessed to be a blessing. Amen.